Hello, Oscar. Hello, Jason. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, my dear students. It's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. So most of your friends are connecting. Thank you, Elmer and Oscar, for your cameras. For all the rest. Hi, good evening. I will wait for the rest to connect their cameras so we can be all in the class ready to start and work. So I hope you had a beautiful day today. And we are going to do many interesting things today. We're going to work a little bit on the practice of what we did yesterday. And we are going to work also on if clauses, and we are going to keep talking about unreal situations as we started yesterday. So welcome, Elvia, Carlitos, Damaris. Welcome everybody to this class today. So, Oscar, be careful because you are on the on the traffic. You are on the street. So be careful while, while driving. Let me open my manual and for sure my attendance so I can have everything ready for you. Good. So I want to listen to three of you to tell me about your day. How was it? What did you do? How did you spend your day today? What made it Hello, different? good evening. Hello, Byron, good evening. <laughs> today is a very hot day. Okay, so I would like to listen to at least three of you to tell me about your day. How was it? What did you do? And what did you like the most about it? Only three. volunteers because we are about to finish the the module imagine if you don't practice right now later on you will say ah oh, we are a practical man one teacher no. new teacher <laughs> go ahead and uh, well my case uh, my day was a little tired because um i i was in san salvador but uh, right now i'm here uh, I came to my to my home in Salatenango. And oh, I, uh -huh. I feel tired, yeah. I imagine. I imagine that you are tired right it's now. Very, it's very fast. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, all these trips, on the one-day trips are very, very tiring because you have to go and do everything and then come back and you have to be in a rush. So it is pretty complicated. So thank you very much for sharing. Someone else? Hi, teacher. Hello, Elmer. Tell me. In my case, today was um, nice because 
I was cel celebrate uh, with my with my uh, partner in the in the job. Oh, okay. Uh, anyone? Uh, is, was was um complete how do you say complete teacher about what I, I need the complete idea so i can tell you cumpliendo año estaba cumpliendo año una compañera ah because someone was celebrating her birthday because someone was celebrating her birthday yes and we we take picture and and uh took the took the lunch together oh that's so nice you took pictures and you took lunch together how nice did you eat cake yes it is <laughs> okay, that's that is the best part of all the birthdays. Great. Thank you, Elmer. Thank you for sharing. Someone else? Hello. Me. Hello, Daisy. Go ahead. And this day was very short for me because I went to the bed with my dog and I was there all afternoon. <laughs> so you fell asleep all the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> how nice yeah one of these days on which you wake up and you don't know what time is it what day is it you don't know anything it's like is it is it still tuesday uh -uh, in, in the class and everything <laughs> right so you wake up worried thank you daisy thank you very much what a nice thing that you could have the chance to rest good very good I will give one more opportunity, one more candidate to, to share. Uh -huh. Take the chance, go ahead, don't feel afraid. Que no le dé pena. Si no en una entrevista de trabajo, imagínense que le diga, okay, tell me about you. You first. <laughs> Usted primero. <laughs> It's not possible. So you have to take the best advantage, right? One of the most common questions in an English interview is this one. How are you? How was your day, they say. And then you say, like, yeah, it was good. It was nice. I did this and this and everything. And that proves that you can actually speak the language. Or they can say, tell me about you. You are not going to say like, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm normal. No, you have to give details about anything in your life, okay? The things that you like to do, the things that you don't like, the, even the food that you like to eat, it's important, right? So one more volunteer to tell me about his or her day. Something short. You see, Elmer did it. We have Daisy already. Saul did it already. Byron said like, hi teacher, how are you? And everything. So I will choose. I will choose uh, Elizabeth. Tell me about your day. Good evening teacher. Hello. Um, hello. Uh, in my day, I was uh, in mid in the afternoon because Begin a new law in this uh, in this country, and we need uh, to know about this new law. Okay. And after that, come to my house, and the traffic turbo. <laughs> and I I came I came too late to my home, and I tired. <laughs> okay, so but I, I I'm happy because I begin the class English class. Okay, good, very good. So say I came late to my house and I am tired. Okay, I came late to my house and I am tired. Right, 
Good, very good. So the more you practice these simple questions, the more fluent you are going to become. Because later on, we can say like, no, in English, yeah, I know everything. Yo lo entiendo todo, pero no lo hablo. It's not possible, right? You cannot do it. You have to practice. Every time that you have the chance to practice, do it. Well, so we are going to keep practicing a little bit because I want you to speak today. We are going to work a little bit on these type of questions, right? We are going to, uh, I'm going to show them to you and then you are going to work in groups uh, to answer them. Let's see. Here we have different types of questions. The first question, can you help me to read it? This one, I'm going to show it to you. Talk, Talk about, about the person who is famous. Very good. What about the next one? Talk about a place where you can relax. Very good. The next one. Talk about a time when you were su su surprised. Surprise. Oh, good. The next one. Talk uh, about something that you hate. Ah, oh, yeah. The next one. Talk about a person whose job is difficult. Okay, talk about a person whose job is difficult. The next one. Talk about something that is funny. Very good. The next one. Talk about a time when you felt scared. When you felt scared, right? Yeah. When you felt scared. Yeah. The next scared. one. Scared, right? Scared. The next one. Talking about a place where many people live. Yes, San Salvador, they say. <laughs> the next one. Talk about a person who is very smart. Very good. The next one. Talk about a country where, where you want to travel to. The next one. Talk about a time when you were sick. Very good. The next one. Talk about something that you make you angry. Talk about something that makes you angry. Very good. The next one. Talk about something time you want to learn. No, talk about someone whose job is fun. Uh, the next one, it's as a question that is free. The next one, the white one. It's any question. It says, talk about. Talk about something that you want to learn. Very good. And what about the next one? Talk about a time when you were confused. Talk about a time when you were confused, right? When you were confused, you didn't know what to do, right? The next one. Talk about a place where you often go. Talk about a place where you often go. And the next one. Talk about a person who smiles a lot. Talk about a person who smiles a lot. The next one. Talk about a country. Talk about a country where you, where you travel to. Where you travel to. Any country is permitted. If you want to talk about Guatemala, Honduras, Costa Rica, United States, whatever country, that's okay. The next one. Talk about, Talk about a time when, when you spend a lot of time. A lot, a lot of, of money. money. Lot of, yeah, when you say like, huh? To me. Like, how, how much is it? And you say like, this amount. And they gave you the number. You're like, ah, huh? really? <laughs> you were like, ah, let, let me see. <laughs> and he said, quiero ver que me cobró. <laughs> So, talk about a time when you spent a lot of money. The next one. Talk about talk something. about something talk about that you want to, to eat. You want to eat, and the last one. Talk about a person, talk about a person who whose pet is, inter is interesting. Whose interesting. pet is interesting, right? Whose pet? A person who has a very curious pet that you say like, what is it, right? It's like a very curious animal. Well, so in order for you to organize your ideas, I am, I am going to give you the chance uh, to choose one of these situations, okay? 
choose one of these situations and I need you to organize your ideas in writing first, okay? Write down, brainstorm a couple of ideas for you to answer, okay? Because I need concrete and complete answers. Not just like a person who is very smart, ah, my mother. No, I need details, right? Why do you consider that this person is smart? What have you seen on this person that makes him or her smart, okay? So uh, I need details on the answer. So please, I need you to choose one of these topics. And don't go for the easiest one. Take the challenge and take one that you consider that you can work on. Analyze all of them and consider one that, you, that it looks interesting for you. And please, when you have it, I need you to send it to me on the chat. How are you going to send it on the chat? You say, I am going to talk about a person who is famous. I am going to talk about a time when I was surprised. Okay, send it to me on the chat like this. I am going to talk about a person who is very smart, for example, right? And once you have it, start writing. Y tan pronto lo tengan, empiecen a escribir sus ideas. Teacher, I'm going to talk about when I spend a lot of money. Okay, send. Okay, okay, send it. Send it on the chat so I can have the idea of who is going to talk about what. Okay, thank you. I am receiving many on the chat now. Okay, I'm going to talk about a person whose pet is interesting. I'm going to talk about when I spent a lot of money. I am going to talk about a person who is famous. Good. Keep sending them. If you chose it already, you can start writing about it. Okay, please send it to me on the chat so I can know. Recording in progress. I'm going to talk about a place where you can relax. Something that you want to learn. Very good. Okay, another place where you can relax. Uh -huh. 
Okay, a place where you travel, good. Okay, please send it to me so I can know. About a person who is famous, good. To talk, I am going to talk about a country where I travel, a country where I travel. Okay, so So, now that you have it ready, you are going to work with your team you are going to have a small group so all of you can participate. I am going to assign 14 minutes to the session. So you can talk around for what, two or three minutes each of you, okay? So each of you is going to have two or three minutes to talk. Okay, you are going to have two or three minutes to talk about your topic and all of you can participate, okay? The groups are going to be small because uh, I need all of you to, uh, to talk, to participate, and for sure to collaborate with your group. I don't want anybody to be silent on the group or to say like, I know in solo eso, or just to, más o menos, me apena, no. So nothing. We are going to go to pre-advanced people. So you need to be a little bit more fluent. So today, tomorrow, and Thursday, it's going to be talking, talking, and talking. So, because you don't have any other worries about the platform or anything, we're going to talk a lot, okay? So uh, I'm going to, uh, to send the invitations. Remember, three, or, uh, three minutes each of you. Participate with your question and with your, with your topic, right? And for sure, you can ask questions. Le pueden hacer preguntas a sus compañeros. Imagine that you are going to talk about a person who is famous. And it's like, do you like him or her? Have you watched their movies? Or where did you meet the person? Right? You can ask follow-up questions. And please practice your English. Okay, I am going to send you right now to the groups. I am going to be... Uh, checking on each of them, but I am not going to be participating. I'm just going to be listening and taking notes, okay? Go ahead. Thank you. Giselle, you are the only one uh, missing to accept the invitation. Hello, Giselle, can you listen to me? Hello. 
Hola Giselle, ¿me escuchas? Hello. I cannot listen to anybody here. ¿Quién está? ¿Quién empezó a compartir? ¿O quién estaba compartiendo antes de que entrara? Hello. Ok, veamos. Aquí solo puedo ver a Byron. No sé qué pasa con los demás. Sí, es, uh, I don't know in my house and I am driving. Ah, ok. But even when you have to be like very, very careful with those things. So, um, uh, Marlon, where are you? There you go. Carlos, <laughs> hi, Marlon, in the middle of a surgery there. Are you are you um, a doctor or a doctor assistant or something? Oh, I, I cannot listen to you. The radiology in hospital. Oh, really? Where? Yes. In which hospital? Uh, it's a, a hospital in Lovasco. Oh, interesting. My sister is a radiologist as well. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Hey, very elegant. No problem here. We have the doctor. Okay, so yeah. who's who's going to share? ¿Quién estaba compartiendo? ¿Quién iba a compartir? We have eight minutes left. Quedan ocho minutos, chicos. Voy a revisar el siguiente grupo. Let's work. Necesito que trabajen, por favor. Sí, se escucha. Yeah. Se escucha, Damaris, sí. I am going to learn something that you want to eat. Lasagna with cooking my... My mother is so delicious. Lasagna cooked by your mother. Okay. Yeah, I think anything cooked by the mother is delicious. Even a pan con crema, it's very good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Continue. Who's going to continue? ¿Quién seguía? Voy a terminar dando todos. Daisy mm, was the last one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk about a famous person and that him, Lee Min Ho, is a South Korean actor, singer, and model. He is very handsome, model, and tall. He is very Oh, and well, I think that uh, we have to die without necessities, and because if we need a, a chair, a show, a shoes, uh, we need to buy to buy it. And well, I think that at home we can we can spend many time also. Well, I think that is all. And and what did you buy, Saul? Excuse me? And what did you buy? Because you were going to talk about a, a time when you spent a lot of money. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, when when I go to San Salvador, uh, I need to buy something for cooking, for example. Uh, and also I need to go to university. Uh, I need to buy, I had to buy uh, some book. And 
I have as I I I spend many 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 a lot of money. A lot of money, right? You spent a lot of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Or when you say like, no, it's going to be cheap, you say, and then 100, 200, 300, <laughs> and, you, and you keep yeah. paying and paying and it's okay. When is it going to stop? You say, good. Yeah. Who Who's missing? René, Marbelli, did you, did you participate? Okay, Oscar Eduardo in my... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I I I told before, but <laughs> so some problem. I I was talking about my I visit uh, Nicaragua four years ago. I went to to I went for my job for my job. For, uh, I went to Nicaragua for two weeks. Uh, and in I I have I. I was working from Monday to Friday, but I have time to to visit some places Saturday and, and, and the weekend uh -huh. and at night. So I I like it. I like the, I visit the, the Managua's Lakes. It's a a place it's a very tourist. It's near to the to the to the downtown or to the city. Near to the city, yeah, I visit to another place named uh, uh, Leon City. It's a, a small downtown, but it's, it's, it's I like it. Uh, uh, you can see uh, a lot of volcanoes near to 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 Leon, and another place that what. Uh, down the uh, city that I visited was uh, where uh, <clears throat> Granada oh. is. I, I like it so much. It's like uh, it's like to Fuchitoto with houses and buildings, all houses and all build, buildings. is is so beautiful for walk. You can see a lot of a lot of of places or or houses so interesting for for that for for the ar ar architecture architecture and you can visit to the 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 Nicaragua's lakes is near is near to to Granada you can go walking and you can take a, a boat or visit some island uh, volcanoes, volcanoes origin. But oh, yeah. uh, I like because uh, my my I, I can see I feel very safety there. Um, but uh, 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 I feel so so safety in, in Nicaragua. Uh, I like it so much. I okay. Like it. So it sounds like a very beautiful place, right? It sounds yes. like a place that you want to visit. So yes. uh, I think that you had a very beautiful experience traveling uh, through Nicaragua. So something important when you say the four, after four, you say for visiting, for traveling, for taking, for okay. crossing, right? With the IND forms. And if mm -hmm. you want to share a little bit more, we still have two minutes. I will go with the last group, okay? You can okay. talk about a different question. No problem. Uh, electrician is the... Um, I don't know, I don't remember, but, but Nicolas Terla, he, he is, he was, uh, uh, who, who a smart person. A very smart person, right? A very smart person. He was a very smart person. Nicolas Tesla. Good. What about the rest? Elvia, what did you talk about? Elvia? Manuel Alejandro? Hi. Yes, yes. What did uh, you talk about? I talked about the um, person with the job more difficult. Who is a person with, a, with the most difficult job? 
for me, pictures. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, because this, I... Is, this is a beautiful job, right? Yes, <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's difficult because uh, the teachers need uh, control, control, controller. To control. They need to control. Control uh, children, adolescents, and... I don't know, and uh, the teachers, uh, how do you say suma y restas teacher? Add and uh, subtractions. Add uh, and subtraction. Add. Adds. Adds, that is sumas. Subtractions uh, are restas. So, add. 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 Uh -huh. add, because you are A adding. ADD. ADD, yes. ADD. Uh, mm. And teachers teach from us and subtraction uh, to values. Values, values, values. Yeah. Yeah, it is, a, it is a beautiful thing. It is not stressing at all. <laughs> right? Yeah, yo antes tenía más pelo. <risa> y, el ojito se... y el ojito no se bailaba. Antes no, no bailaba. No, no perrea solo. <risa> but now it does it. So, eh, no, but it's, it's good. Well, thank you. Let's go back to the main session, my dear students. Welcome back to the main room. All your classmates are going to come back in a second. Okay, so thank you very much because there were many groups who were very committed to participate, who were very committed to answered questions and who were participating a lot. That's the idea, people. That's the idea. The idea is that you do the things, I mean, once I explain and you do them on your own because that's the purpose, right? Or uh, when you are in the groups, remember that it's a matter of like politeness to open your camera because you are in a group of, in a group of, uh, people and it is nice that you can actually see your friends right when you are in the group and when you are in the class so uh, we did the first part of speaking yesterday i asked you to work on these questions on the manual right here we have uh, six questions what will you do in these situations what will you do what will you do if you found a valuable piece of jewelry in the park, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money and credit cards? What would you do if you saw two people fighting in the street? Oh, 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 no, 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 that's not correct, okay? If you see two people, $1 for the, no. You discover your, friends has, your friend has a drinking problem. If someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach, what would you do if a friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it? So here we have six questions. Six questions and we are going to have six groups and each group is going to talk about one of them. So I am going to make the groups. We are going to make six groups. And I am going to give you the question that you are going to answer, okay? I am going to give you only five minutes in this one, okay? Because it's going to be something short. So for group number one, group number one, that is, a, let me see, here I have it. Group number one is Byron, Carlos, Damaris, and Saul. You are going to work on question number one. Group number one, Byron, Rafa Byron, Carlos, Damaris, and Saul. Question one, you found a valuable piece of jewelry. 
Group number two, Daisy, Elvia, Natalie, and Rene. Question number two. You were on vacation and you lost all your money and credit cards. Group number three, Ana Julia, Cristina, and Elmer. Question three. You saw two people fighting on the street. Group number four, Elizabeth, Marbelli, and Pablo. Question four. You discover your friend has a drinking problem. The next one, group number five, Emma, Marlon, and Sandra. Someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach. And the last group, Manuel, Oscar, and Sara Maria, a friend borrowed money from you and didn't return. Okay, so those are the groups and the questions. Teacher, it, yes? I have a question. Notice about the, the, the homework, or is, is a other question. Huh? Tell me. What is, uh, Okay, how do I do when uh, I am speaking English and in the idea of, of, of uh, I want to express, I find words that I seen are Salvadorian words and I, ha uh, I, I have an English translation. Very good question. Many of these words that are very local words, like for example, tamal or pupusas or things like those or tamalitos or whatever other thing, you keep the word like that, right? Because if you are talking with people who will understand, but if you are talking with an American, for example, and you want to explain and you say like, yeah, and yesterday we went to eat pupusas, right? What is the person going to say? ¿Qué le va a decir la persona? What is that? What is that? What is a pupusa? Ah, the pupusa is the traditional dish of El Salvador. It's like a tortilla with, with something inside, beans or cheese or something. So you have to give details. But if you are in a group of people who will understand what you are saying, you keep the word exactly like that because you know it doesn't have translation, right? Yeah. It's like your name. You are not going to say, Rene David. I am Rene David. No, I am Rene David. Right? I am Pablo King, for example. <laughs> Pablo Rey. No, you are going to give your name. You don't have to translate those things that you consider that are not really necessary or local. So that's the answer. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Because I, I, I was talking about the minutas and I, I don't have the, the English translation. Oh, but I think it has, a, it has an English translation. I think it's if I think it is a scrape ice, a scrape ice or shaved ice. But, okay. but if you are talking about a Salvadorian minuta, it's different, right? Because in English okay. are like okay. lo frosty, no sé qué, lo helado, so it's different. So but minutas are, and then you have to explain what minutas are. Well, so that's a very good thing. So let's go to the groups. Let's go to the groups. My dear students, remember group number one, question one, group number two, question three, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry, Nati. I have a question. Tell me. What overseas. Overseas is when you are in another country on the other side of the ocean. For example, if you are in Mexico, you know that you can come by bus, for example. But if you are in Europe and you live in El Salvador, that is overseas. Overseas significa que Pasó el mar entero para llegar a ese lugar. Like extra, extra continental. Yeah, it's another, it's another continent, right? Overseas is por sobre el mar. Overseas. So it's, it's like if you go from here to Australia, for example, you have to cross almost all the world to go there. That is the meaning, Nancy. Okay, no more questions. We are going to go to the groups. Go ahead. Thank you, Elmer. You didn't receive the invitation. No, DJ. Okay, ahorita lo mando de regreso. Okay. 
Eh, le voy a enviar dos veces. La primera no la acepte, pero acepte la segunda, ¿ok? Hoy sí. There you go. Me lo, me lo trajo de regreso. Ok, let me see. Voy de regreso. Esta no la acepte, pero esta sí. ¿Cómo es? Un estira y encoge estamos haciendo. Ok, veamos. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Veamos, veamos. Ok. Ok, hoy creo que sí funciona. Someone can start. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> no. <laughs> What would you do if you found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park? The... How do you say found? <laughs> found? What is the meaning? Ah, yes, the found, <laughs> meaning of <Yeah>. found. <laughs> okay, when you say you found a valuable piece of jewelry, you are on the park like, tu, 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 tu. Oh, look at that. And then you found the, the, ah. the Titanic stone, right? And it's like, ah, hmm. what will you do with that? Como encontrar. tomar, encontrar. You found. Encontrar. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh. It's on the floor, it's on the park, it's on the public place. Oh. So what will you do? Le ponen el zapato. <laughs> In my case, I think that uh, we can do two things. Uh, well, the fear is, but in my case, uh, I would like to post, to post the jewelry in the face and some person can come in and we can we can find uh, the dueño. We can find the owner, the owner. The owner, okay, the owner. Or oh, maybe we can we can take that and you lose. <laughs> <laughs> More well, easy. It's easier, right? It's easier, right? Hello, La Cornucopia. <laughs> I have something for you. Need to buy something. <laughs> I need to sell something to, to sell. sell. Uh, to sell something. Well, but what about the rest? In my case, I might take the piece and sell the jewelry in the jewelry store. <laughs> I will do the same <laughs> to sell uh -huh. the piece in a jewelry store for sure. Yeah. Right? Yes. I will say because will... you don't know the owner. Yeah, you don't know the owner, right? But Saul, Saul was very honest, right? To post it, and if someone says it's like, "Oh, it's mine" or something, huh? Proof. Yes, teacher. Uh, I bought uh, something similar because I I found a circulation card and I posted it in Facebook and I found the owner. Oh, that's so very good. fast in the same day. That is yeah. very very good. Definitely. I did that because I saw a person who posted a, a Dewey on a page. And I I looked for the person on Facebook and I said, uh, because I mean, there was like the complete name on the Dewey, right? So I looked for the person on Facebook and I said, hey, someone has your Dewey in this post. <laughs> and I yeah, said- Yeah, we, we feel very well, I think, because when I I get I get him the, the circulation card, Uh, the boy was very happy. And yeah. Let me thank you. That is good. In some cases, you don't receive anything back, but it's it's nice, right? Good. I need Carlos and Damaris to participate. I will go and check the next group.
and then had to report them and lost and find a way to get an annex to finish my trip. Yeah, to, to find to find some money to come back. But first cry. Yeah. <laughs> first you cry and everything. Yes. It, it, and it is very common, right? It happened to me that last year I was on a trip and I was at the airport. And all of a sudden, I had the passport in my hand and the ticket and everything. And I just, I was so busy with everything that I put it on my other hand and I grabbed my bottle of water. And then I said like, mm -hmm. and my passport is... <laughs> <laughs> and I had it on the other hand. <laughs> but I was very yeah, nervous. Um... I was very nervous and I was like, oh my God, my passport <laughs> and the ticket and everything. And I had them on the other hand. So it was pretty crazy so because because with, so, with, without without yeah. your passport you you can't travel you, you cannot do anything you cannot do anything yes in, in other in other country you can do anything yeah only the passport and that's it right good so we're going to um did did all of you participate nati daisy yes okay good yes. let's let's go back to the main session Welcome back. Welcome again. Welcome again. What will you do if? What will you do if the teacher lets you in charge of the class? Imagine if the teacher gives you the, I mean, leaves you in charge of the class. What will you do? Si me voy, le digo, vaya. Hey, Cristina, le queda la clase. <laughs> what would you do? Don't don't worry, teacher. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, teacher. You were going to it's, to play. It's like it's like yeah. a... it, it, it's the end of the class. Class. <laughs> okay, that's that it. Is, that is all. That is all. Right. I don't know if 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 is you watch the the Chespirito. Or... El yes. Chespirito, yeah, when yeah. the teacher Girafales <laughs> is going. <laughs> yeah, I will movie. send a, a video. I will send a video. <laughs> Mo movie time. <laughs> Very fun. Yeah, you, you would say, like, okay, we're going to watch a movie. <laughs> and tomorrow you send me a, 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 a report. A report about the movie, right? <laughs> that was a very common thing, right? Or if not, they say, okay, break. And then you go. We are going to play uh, truth, <clears throat> uh, truth or dare, right? Verdad o reto. <laughs> it's like, no, teacher Nat is not here. Yay! So I, I think you will have fun if you if you stay along for a second. Relax. <laughs> okay. Relax. No, 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 no. <laughs> A moment to relax, definitely. A moment to relax. A moment to relax. That would be that would be it. Well, let's not relax that much because we are going to call the attendance. Ana Julia. Ana Julia. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, okay. Byron Rafael. Present teacher. Carlo Fernando. Carlos, thank you. Cristina? Present. Damaris Merari? Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Daisy Magdalena? Present, teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen? Present, teacher. Elmer Mauricio? I'm here, teacher. Elvia Sofía? Present, teacher. Emma Jamilet. Present. Emma, thank you. You said uh, Giselle Cecilia. Giselle. Okay. Iris Rosario. It is Iris Rosario. Okay. 
Manuel Alejandro. Here. Marbel y Jocelyn. Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher. Natalie. I'm here. Nelson Rolando. Ah, Mr. Nelson, send a message on the chat. Eh, Oscar Eduardo. Pablo Reyes. Present, present teacher. Thank present. You. Pablito. Patricia. Okay. Pablo, I can, I can see you there. There you go. Yeah. Patricia. René David. I'm here. I'm here. Sandra Yanet. Thank you. Sara I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Arnulto. A mí no me Teacher. Sara. Sarita María. Yes, Sara María. Okay. Ya, ya las tengo. Solo me faltó Patricia, Nelson e Iris. Iris Rosario. Okay. Good. So let's continue with the last thing for today. I wanted to share my screen with all of you. Just give me one second here. There we go. Okay. Just to review a little bit of what we're going to do in the, in the next steps, right? In the next topic. Here we have a little bit of antonyms and synonyms, right? Antonyms are some words that mean the opposite of a word, right? Able, unable, above, beloved, absent, present, accept, decline. That is an antonym, okay? Boy, girl, buy, sell, expensive, cheap, right? Those are opposite. It has the opposite meaning of something. And a synonym is something that has exactly the same meaning or very near to this, right? Occur, happened, old, ancient, opportunity, chance. In this case, the synonyms are important in English because they give you the opportunity for you to use different vocabulary, right? So you say like, I, for example, I had the opportunity to work in a new place and this chance was very good for me, right? So you don't have opportunity, opportunity, opportunity in all the time, right? Say beautiful and pretty. She was so beautiful. I think she was the prettiest girl on earth, right? Peaceful and quiet. Chalatenango's mountains are so peaceful. Everything is so beautiful. The mountains and the place are so quiet that you can relax, right? So synonyms are words that you can use to replace or not to repeat a word, right? They are synonyms, they mean the same, and antonyms, they mean something different, okay? Have you ever heard about this ones? ¿Ya los habían estudiado antes? No. ¿Los habían visto antes? Yeah. No, no. Okay, so if you hadn't seen them, I wanted to bring them to you for you to have a little bit more uh, options on vocabulary, right? I can send you the pictures or you can get the pictures right now from the presentation. Okay, I will put the antonyms so you can get them. Okay. Screenshot them. And... I am going to put the synonyms so you can screenshot them and then you can see them a little bit in detail, okay? So these ones, and these ones, you can also find them on your book. And let's go here, let me see, I have it right here. On your book, you can also find them in uh, under the questions that we were practicing yesterday, right here you have a couple of antonyms, right? But uh, I thought that these were too little for you, right? Estos eran muy poquitos, dije, no, hay que mostrarles otros más. Right, you have enjoy, admit, agree, borrow, remember, spend, dislike, divorce, accept, find, forget, lose, marry, refuse, deny, lend, save, and disagree. On your manual, you can classify them, okay? You can put them, which one is the opposite of which one? What is the opposite of agree, for example? Disagree. 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 What is the opposite of divorce? Marry. What is the opposite of accept? 
Refuse. Refuse, Refuse, right? So you can do the matching on these words, okay? Pueden trabajar en eso, los pueden hacer ahí el matching. And we are going to work on the past models tomorrow, okay? This is the topic that we are going to cover tomorrow. It is one of the final topics that we will do. Well, my dear students, thank you very much for being on this pool of practice thank class. You. If you took advantage to participate, that was very good. I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Thanks to you. Bye-bye.